Okay, so let's begin guys. I hope this video is not super long, but I've been seeing this type of video on Instagram, I mean on YouTube, and I've been wanting to do this for you guys. So I did some poll last night and asked you guys to vote on what, you know, give you guys two options and you guys could decide which one you guys wanted. The palette, it was either the Clover palette by Too Faced or the Masquerade palette by Juvia and Juvia's palette won by 62%. So I'll be using that and for the look you guys voted for, I, get, I told you guys either a natural look or a smoky slash bold look. So the smoky bold look won by 65%. The natural look got 35%. So let's begin. Oh, and to prime the eyes, I gave you guys some two options. Also, I told you guys either the Jumbo Eye Pencil by NYX or Ochan and the NYX one by 63%. So I'll be using the one to prime the eyes. I'm going to be using Milk. And I'll try and post this, post all the products down in the description box. So yeah, so let's begin. I'm not sure how this look is going to turn out, but we will have to see at the end. So stay till the end, guys. And with the finger. But on the other eye, I kind of have to use this tiny beauty blender. Okay, so now for the eye. Like I said, we're going to be using the Tarte one. I mean the Tarte one. The Masquerade one. If you guys have this palette, you guys can follow along with me. And if case not, go buy this palette, guys. And shout out to Sophie under slash GRN. Thank you for her for sending this palette to me. So I hope I do a great job. So we're going to go in and I don't really have to be that careful just because since it is going to be a bold look so we're going to start with Zulu it's this like brownish with like a brown shade with a hint of like some red and then, so this will be our transition chain. And this goes above your crease. And still use a light hand. I know I've hardly even done any bold smoky eye looks on here. I just I want to give you guys more variety. Okay, so now for this shade, and most of the pencils I'll be or um, eye brushes I'll be using are from BH Cosmetics. I'll be using this more tapered one 
Then we're going to go in with Zobo. It's this purpley. So this shade you will only take it halfway in on the crease. Now with the pencil brush from e.l.f. We're going to be taking Makita. This will be like um, the outer V. And this will go like a little bit below below the crease color so I can have like some layering Now you want to blend this out. I'm just using this blending brush. And we might darken it more towards the end. So now for the lid shade, I'm going to go in... For the lid shade, we're going to go with Geisa or Giza, something like that. Okay, I hope you guys can. This for the um, lid shade, I always want to use like a shimmery eyeshadow okay now take that tapered brush again and grab some more of Zubbo and again only take it like halfway in now with the pencil brush we're going to grab Martita and blend this with the lid chain so there's no line and everything just blends out well I hope that's a good smoky type of eye look for you guys. This is a very colorful type of smoky eye look. Next time if you guys want me to do more like using browns and blacks, then let me know down in the comment section below. So now let's go with our, for our eyebrows. I gave you guys two options. I gave you guys the option of the Benefit My Precisely Brow Pencil or the Cover Girl. And the one, I'm pretty sure that one won. So yeah, so I'll be using this one in 3.5, which is like a medium brown. 
I'm just trying to double check for you guys. So I was going to use the My Precisely Brow Pencil from Benefit and as I was going it broke and so it was the last of the product so definitely that's one thing I'll add to the review I did it that it doesn't have enough product for the price that you end up paying so instead I'm going to use the CoverGirl brow pomade since my precisely eye pencil, brow pencil broke. So that's one thing I hate about it. So I'm just using an angled brush to apply it. And I already have a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. I have two. So I'll try linking them. The okay, updated one, going to which use I was using my brow pencil from. Yeah. See, my cover girl, it only got. Oops. Oh my gosh. It only got 31%. In the front, I'm still only going to try and use. less product I know right now they look pretty harsh that's one thing I think I'm starting to like more of of the pencil is because you have in control of how much product you will add on it I'm just going to use well, okay, since you guys, for the concealer I'll be using, you guys voted Tarte 1. So, I'll do this. I'm going to finish up my eyebrows and then I'll come back with the rest, guys. Okay, so there's the eyebrows. Again, like I said, I do have a updated brow tutorial. If you guys want to go see it, I'll link it somewhere above here. So now, for foundation, I gave you guys two options. The CoverGirl Healthy Elixir or the Physician's Formula. And this one won. This one's in Natural... natural beige so let's shake it I mean it doesn't look this one's not too too light but we will see what I like about this one is that it looks like Skin basically it doesn't look cakey or doesn't really look like you have foundation on. And I believe this is full coverage. Even though maybe because I don't really have a lot of texture or like... I've never really suffered from acne. Can't really tell that it's full coverage. But I can tell kind of. So I am facing 
cam, I mean the window, so it's new, it's a new setup. Let me know if you guys like this setup, I mean, I really like this setup and it's basically the only setup I can really use. For concealer it was either Tarte, Tarte or the Ulta one. So like I said I'm going to be using this one. It's uh, the Tarte Maracuja Chrysalis Concealer and this one's in well, it says full coverage. It's waterproof. Um, I don't think this one has a a name, but this is how it looks like. So we'll be using that. So I use the concealer to brighten under my eyes and to kind of highlight on those dark areas. Bronze the face. I gave you guys two options. I told you guys either the Ulta full coverage liquid concealer or the powder. It's 50 50, so I decided the face powder one just because I did do, I did use the um liquid one yesterday and I kind of liked it but you kind of have to set it and blend it very well it left me kind of a I don't know at first I didn't really like it so we're going to use this brush from what's it called BH Cosmetics So when I do this, I do it mostly to bronze my face, not so much to contour. On my nose, I do contour, but I know I still need to get better and find a better brush. And I always use this one to blend it out so it's no harsh lines because um setting powder in banana in your face or you the want LA everything well blended color setting spray and i mean oh la press powder and 67 percent set the banana one so i'll be using this I'm going to go, this is like a foundation brush, but I use this to set going to use this kind of to like bake under here so now for blush I told you guys either Tarte or the Ulta like palette type of thing you guys said Tarte this is in party this is how it looks like so that. and I'm using the elf blush brush
Okay, for highlight, you I gave you guys Wet n Wild highlighting powder or Ulta, and you guys said Wet n Wild by 68%. To set the face, I gave you guys Wet n Wild Natural Finish or Mario Badescu. You guys said Mario Badescu by 63%. So I'm going to spray my face first and then put the highlight. So yeah, so I'll be using precious petals from Wet and Wild, like you guys said, and I'll be using the Elf highlighting brush. I kind of do tapping and rubbing, sweeping motions. Just so it doesn't look too powdery on my nose. For mascara, I told you guys um, either the voluminous is, um, Lash Paradise. Or the plush drama, 67% said the Ulta plush drama. Now for lips, it was 50-50, um, nude or red lip. I decided I'm going to do a red lip. So, this is the plush drama one. Now let's curl our eyelashes. Okay, so for eyes, we're going to use Zulu and we're going to mix Zubbo under our lash line. We're going to take this. And go in with uh, Zulu. So just blend those shades very well under the eye. Now we're going and to I go in with And I do want to apologize Zubo. for making this video. Or basically all my videos kind of long. I just want to give you guys as much detail or information and explain my thoughts about the products we're going to blend and how I use them how and all went. that I know you guys probably prefer this me brush. explaining than going super fast and not explaining it so I'm just I always curl my eyelashes one last time when I put mascara on. More on the inner corner. And I'm just corner. highlighting on my inner corner and on the brow bone. Okay, for the red lip, I'm using e.l.f. in Rich Red. And there you guys go.
you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And...